Welcome to the latest episode of Drone News from Jeff Sibelius and LandonAirPhotos.com. Unique has announced the upcoming release of a new version of the Typhoon H called the Typhoon H+. The Typhoon H uses a redesigned ST16 transmitter called the ST16S with a new user interface and brighter display. While the H Plus airframe looks the same as the Typhoon H, the H Plus has longer arms and larger motors which are supposed to give it more stability. Basically, it has the body of an H520 with the colors of a Typhoon H, although Unique says the color of the body may change to silver in the final production. Other enhancements include a PX4-based flight controller, improved airflow for better cooling, better shielding from electronic interference, and motors that are 40% quieter. I'm not too sure on that last one. I thought the existing motors were already pretty quiet, so this feature seems to be solving a problem that doesn't really exist. The rest of the enhancements sound great, though. On the positive side, the new motors and design are supposed to give you more stable flights and winds up to 30 miles per hour, which would be awesome. The H Plus appears to have the same flight modes as the H, like curved cable cam, journey mode, and point of interest. It doesn't appear to support Data Pilot, the computer-based flight programming system that the H520 uses. Not a big deal to me, but it is important to a lot of Typhoon owners. The best feature of the H Plus is the new C23 camera, which features a 1-inch sensor that shoots 4K video at 60 frames per second and 20 megapixel stills. At first glance, the camera appears to be about the same as the E90 used on the H520 drone. It has a 23mm focal length with an effective field of view of 91 degrees, which is slightly less wide-angle than what you find with the Typhoon H. By comparison, the Phantom 4 Pro has a 24mm focal length with an effective field of view of 84 degrees and its barrel distortion is far superior to the original Typhoon H. I'm hoping the new C23's lens gives us improvements on barrel distortion to match what I get with the Phantom 4 Pro. The C23 has a fixed aperture of 2.8, where the Phantom 4 Pro has an aperture range of 2.8 to 11, so Unique still has work to do in this regard. By the way, if you own the original Typhoon H, you'll be happy to hear Unique says the C23 camera can be used on the original Typhoon H. That's great news. If you own a Typhoon H and all you want is an improved camera, you may be able to just buy the camera and not have to replace your entire system. The downside to this is, if the C23 is compatible with the original H, but the other new Unique cameras are not compatible with the original H, this suggests that the other cameras won't work with the Typhoon H Plus either. That's too bad. The H Plus is being pitched as a professional drone for photographers outside of certain industries, and interchangeable cameras would be a nice feature for the pros. Perhaps they'll come out with versions of the other cameras for the H Plus, which would then open up the possibility to new cameras for the original H as well. For now, the price on Typhoon H Plus is expected to be about $1,800 with RealSense and $1,500 without RealSense. They said it will ship the first half of 2018, but Unique is historically late on shipments, so I wouldn't expect it until later this year. There are a lot of unknowns about the H Plus, so it's too early for me to have any real opinions on it yet. I do know this. Unique needs to clearly define what the differences are with the Typhoon H Typhoon H Plus, and Typhoon H520. And there needs to be a significant difference from one drone to the next. I mean, the price differences are huge. $800 to $1,500 to $3,300. So what makes each unique, well, unique? For now, we know this. With the Typhoon H Plus, you can look forward to a more robust version of the Typhoon H with an improved camera sometime in 2018. More news will come out over the next few months, but Unique is historically very slow to release details, so you're going to have to be patient. As more information becomes available, I'll let you know. So that means subscribe to this channel so you'll be notified when I post updates. Like how I slipped that one in there? The Typhoon H Plus should be available from AcesDeals.biz. When it is, I'll put the link in the description below. 
you can get a discount on Typhoon H Plus or anything else you buy from Ace's Deals with the coupon JSLAB. If you're going to buy something anyway, why not get a discount? Also, if you use the code to buy any drone, Ace's Deals will make a contribution to this channel so I can produce more videos in the future. I focused on the Typhoon H Plus in this video, but Unique has also announced two other aircraft. These are a bit outside my normal area of coverage, but I'll touch on them briefly. The HD Racer is Unique's first FPV racing drone. It features different stabilizing flight modes as well as manual settings for more experienced flyers. If you crash your HD Racer and it lands upside down, the flip-up mode will right the aircraft so you can take off again. The drone doesn't have a gimbal, but it does shoot 1080p video. This looks like a fun little toy and it could be used by a first-time pilot to learn stick controls before moving up to a more expensive and fragile drone. It should cost $179 and is expected to ship in the first half of 2018. The second new aircraft is the Firebird FPV. The Firebird is a fixed-wing aircraft rather than a quadcopter or hexacopter. It boasts a 30-minute flight time with a low-latency FPV camera. The Firebird offers auto landing and return to home and geofencing and safety floor to help you avoid flyaways or crashes. The Firebird will sell for under $700 and it's expected to ship in mid-2018. That's it for this episode of Drone News. Thanks for watching my video. I've set up a Facebook group to make it easier for us to talk about drones and arrange opportunities to fly together. Follow the link in the description below to sign up for the group. On screen you'll find a playlist with many more tutorial videos on drones, so please check them out. Before you go, be sure to hit the like button. Also, subscribe to this channel so you know when more videos are released. Thanks for watching.